Hamden and Greenway, I'm Director of Network Boss and Gilbert Ambassador. For me, Gilbert is still the number one network brand and I was so excited to start working with you guys, well yeah, it's probably about five years ago. I think um, it's definitely grown in terms of the products. What I really love is it's an open conversation, so we've always chatted about uh, the ball designs and how we want to see it going. You've always taken risks with stuff, bringing in different designs on the trainers um, and how accessible everything is and how comfortable. So it's been brilliant to be working with Wasps this year. I know all of us have loved all the training kit. Um, and it's really nice to have brands that are specifically designed for the sport that we do. I think the great thing about the Gilbert trainers is, is both, it's got to be about comfort and it's got to be about design. What I loved is, is the bright colours. Um, I know when we introduced the red shoe, that was something I was really passionate about, being an England player and going, I want to wear a red shoe and I wore those at the World Cup, which was amazing. Um, and this year as well, bringing out all the, the brights and the pinks and the yellows I have before and the pinks and the blues. Like, I think that's really important. You want something to stand out. Um, and the comfort for me, I love the difference between sort of a net burner and a runner. I never really wanted the really heavy net burners, which is something I stayed away from and, and runners became too light. The great thing about the Gilbert shoe for me is it sits in between that, so it's really comfortable on court and it looks great. I think moving forward, um, Gilbert are always trying to push the brand on and trying to look for new ideas. and. Um, I think the, the trainer is just going to get better and better and I think the more people wear them, understand what they do for, the, for you on court, um, the bigger that brand will become. And the fit for me is really important. I know growing up I was always in boys sports clothes because that's all you could get. I remember when we first started talking about the different hoodies and the designs we wanted, we wanted something really specific for, for girls and making sure never players as well, you know, long in the body, long in the arms, just all the added extras as well with, with the hoodies and the um, and, the, and the leggings having the, the writing up the netball branding on them as well. I love that stuff. You can't get that anywhere else. You can't get anything that says I'm a netball player. Um, and that's part of it that I think makes Gilbert so special. For us, the dress this year at Wasp as well, it's been absolutely amazing. A, for the designs that we can have on it, but B, the cut. I know we talked about having a race back which was brought in and, and that's for me the exciting part that there's that open dialogue all the time and we're always looking about what looks good because the reality is we want to be comfortable but we also want to look good when we step out to court. I think the Commonwealth Games is a real game changer for our sport, not only with um, England making the final and winning the gold which was history um, in the making, it was absolutely incredible and, and something I, well, I'll never ever forget watching that game, it was very emotional. Um, the, the other part for me were how close some of the other teams are getting, some of the African nations, Malawi beating New Zealand. I mean, it, it's um, Uganda, how well they did. I think the reality is the game is changing. We know as a global sport now it's becoming closer and closer. Um, Jamaica were absolutely fantastic in that semi-final and there's so many different role models for all different women across the world which I think is really really important in our sport and um, for next year the World Cup in England look, I've got to say that England are going to win it it will be tough, it will be really tough probably harder than the commies just because Australia will not have taken that lying down um, but for us to have a home World Cup in Liverpool on English soil it's going to be the most incredible thing for the sport plus the backing after the Commonwealth Games how many people have got behind the sport now it's I just am so excited about the summer I know how much coverage we're going to get off the back of this I think netball is going to make a real real difference in this country oh definitely well look I think women's sport now is much stronger together some of the recent campaigns we've been doing like show up um, it's all about supporting female sports and it's not about just oh love netball or love hockey or whatever just support females doing doing girls sports like it's absolutely incredible how we're getting this backing now for everybody and I think that's really important and that's where the, the clothing crosses over for me as well because um you know it's it's cool now to be sporty whether that's being at the gym whether that's yoga whether that's a team sport whether that's an individual sport it's actually becoming a real sort of oh what do you do how do you work out and you're seeing that more and more on social on insta you know some of the, the coolest girls I follow on instagram are all the the fitness fitness gurus you know the ones that are constantly lifting in the gym or strong not skinny all those kind of campaigns and I love that and I think that's where the crossover comes I love to go out in my leggings with a slouchy top on I'm, I'm, I'm happy like that you know I'm comfortable and I think that crossover from sporty to lifestyle is really important heels went out the door a long time ago trainers came in I'm very happy about that and I think it just kind of shows how positive now females are being about that that it's it's cool cool to be sporty it's cool to be fit and that's a really healthy message favourite products I've got Three things, yeah. Can I go three things? So my favourite ever product was my was the trainer, was the fur with with the red and the white trainer, but that's the now. Like I love wearing my good shoes on court. Um my second is the leggings with the netball down. Um that was really cool when we first did that and um, people wanted those netball leggings everywhere because again you never get anything with sport on and I absolutely live in my quarter zip.
pull up top, uh, pull over top. I love that top and it looks so smart as well, so I wear that one all the time. Yeah, I have hoodies that are slouch around in, but that top I can literally put on with my skinny jeans and do interviews in. I can wear it down to the training court um, and it's just there, it's fleecy inside, it's comfy. I just absolutely love it. Okay, so best level moment. I'm gonna, although I've had so many over the last few years, um, well, over a long period of time, uh, has to be winning the, the title with Wasps. I think, um, just because I've said it before, it was a fairy tale season, you never usually get the cherry on the top. And honestly, the work that we put in that season to go from nothing to there and to lift the trophy, um, against pretty much all the odds and against a lot of people as well, um, you know, they weren't all on our side. It was really, it was satisfying to do that. I must admit, it was one of the highlights of my career. It's just to be prepared to work harder. It sounds so easy and so simple, but I remember being at Bath and training and being surrounded by all these great people, these great athletes, wanting to be as good as them and, and just thinking that I was there, I'd expect it. And I remember the coach pulling over to me and going, why would you think you'd be picked? Why, what have you done? What are you prepared to do? Is any different to those guys? And that cycle for me suddenly changed. I was there all summer. I was there at the end of sessions and the start of sessions. And I gave it everything, which meant I could look at myself after it all and go, well, you know what, hands down, I tried everything to get into those squads or get picked for things. And yeah, I worked really hard.